Cooking Up a Storm is brought to you by Kroger. Fresh food, low prices. All right, welcome back, everyone. Jacob is here. The crock pot is here, but unlike the past several weeks, we are not doing soup today. No, we are messing out in six weeks of soup because we've had a sweet tooth, haven't we? We have. I always have a sweet oh, tooth. Oh, absolutely. So, so we figure we do something a little desserty there for the mm -hmm. holidays. Maybe you need to make something because mm -hmm. the crock pot could be a really great way to. Bake things. Yeah. And instead of having to take 15 minutes to keep your eyes in the oven, you can put it in there two, three hours mm -hmm. and it will bake really nicely. And then, in addition, a crock pot is like a steam bath. So you're going to have very moist, very dense, uh, whatever delicious it is. Well, bake. I'm anxious to see this because I'm a little skeptical about dessert in the crock pot. Yeah, I am too. I'm a little worried too. We're going to have a little fun with this, I think. It may right. not quite be done yet, but ooey gooey. Some more brownies is what we're talking here. And so right. uh, this okay. recipe is really easy to make. Uh, some simple ingredients that most folks will have at home. Okay. So we're going to get started here. The first thing I've already done is in my crock pot. And uh, what I've got here is I made a graham cracker crust. Okay. Because you need s'mores. They have, to have graham, graham crackers. crackers. And right. so in the base here, I took some sugar, some graham crackers, mm -hmm. and then I took some butter. All right. And uh, I mashed that down into the bottom. Now you'll notice I have some parchment paper. And I lightly sprayed that with a little bit of non stick spray. And that's still out to not stick. Mm -hmm. And the great thing too is if you bake it long enough and it's not so gooey, mm -hmm. you can pull that dessert right out with the parchment paper and leave no mess behind. So it's a great way to. <laughs> we shall see that. Yeah, we shall shortly. see. I'm alone. I don't know if my batch is done enough. Okay. I mean, but I love my brownies extra gooey. Okay, so that's too. just butter, so graham that's crackers. Just your standard graham cracker okay. crust mix here moving forward. All right. Then we're just gonna take a brownie mix. Okay. Follow the directions on here. So I got two eggs that I'm putting on in, mm -hmm. and uh, drop those on in. And uh, Kroger's got great brownie mixes. Whether you like dark chocolate, milk chocolate, whatever, you can go there and get them. Okay. And then I've got some oil and water. And I just went ahead and put both those in my bowl there. Okay. We're just going to mix it up and just follow the directions in the box. It's really your basic brownie mix. Really, you can't yes. mess and this you can up. Make, you can make a custom brownie mix if you have one or you have mm -hmm. a, a secret family recipe. Mm -hmm. uh, but for ease and simplicity here, we're just going to use this here and mix it all up. Usually, when I buy brownie mix, I'll get not just the basic. I'll get the one that has like uh, chocolate chips in it yes, or chocolate you know, chunks in it. Chocolate chunks, the extra yeah. dark chocolate, mm -hmm. get the good stuff. Yeah, uh, you can get whatever kind you want here. I just got the regular, uh, regular uh, deluxe fudge brownie mix. Okay. Um, and on the back, there's often suggestions that you can do to mix things there. But here we go. Got it all nice and mixed. And I'm going to transfer right. this over to the crock pot, and uh, that's going to. Be my brownie. We're just going to pour it on in there, All nice right. and top there, and let it spread around. And uh, be my mix. If you don't mix it all the way, I see a little bit of powder in there. Not a big deal. When you steam bath it in the crock pot, mm -hmm. it'll take care of that right, right away. So it goes on in there. Then I'm going to actually take some chocolate chips Should or some Hershey's. Uh, if you want to take some Hershey's bars, maybe you got right. a few left over from Halloween. Mm -hmm. And once I get all my mix in there, that's going to be some extra chocolate on top. So okay. I don't want to make a mess there, but it's not a good baking day if you don't make a mess. All but right. Yeah, I'm just going to drop some some chocolate chips in on there. And uh, that's going to. Because you can't have too much chocolate. chocolate. Can't have Absolutely. Too much. Okay. Now what I'll do here is I'm going to cook this low and slow for two to three hours. Okay. You want your brownies to pass, pass the toothpick test. Okay. And then once you do that, then take some marshmallows here. Okay. And add those on top. S'mores. And We're making another s'mores five brown. to ten minutes. Uh huh. Put the lid on, let it there. Your marshmallows are going to melt, and uh, then you'll have your s'more brownies be done there. Kids are going to love it. Mm -hmm. It'll be a little messy. It'll be great with a scoop of ice cream. All right. Well, what we'll do is we've got one already going. It's been going for a few hours. Few hours when yeah. we come <laughs> back, we'll see if it's how perfectly it's going to come out for <laughs> us. <laughs> we'll do that when we come back. Stay with us. All right, we're back. Our crock pot s'mores brownies. Uh, it's done. We're gonna. Hopefully. We're just gonna try this. This is your first time. Yeah, doing yeah, yeah. This. I, I've made some before. It should here. be all right. You wanna help me out and grab yeah. grab two edges there? We're gonna pull these out. Okay. These might be a little bit gooey, but that must make them so good. Yeah. Here. And uh, look how nicely that, that top looks. That there. looks good there. It really does look pretty good. It's uh, nice and and well done. Now the great thing, if you want to, stick it in the broiler mm -hmm. in the oven. For 10 minutes, you'll get that nice toasty brown. You can see yeah. my edges are just a little mm -hmm. bit there. Mm -hmm. oh, really. that's, well, the edges are kind of perfect, though. I, that's, yeah, I'm pretty really impressed does. with that. You can tell the crust there in the sides. That looks and, good. Uh, so what we'll do is put the recipe for this on the Mid-Morning Facebook page. But you've also got some others that would be cool to take to parties. The holiday. Yeah, I'm going right. to have a list of my favorite holiday desserts that we've done before. Mm -hmm. You were mentioning there was an apple dish we the, did one yeah, time. Yeah, you did. Uh, and things of that. And of course, you why can why find... Why don't you cut that just so they can see sure, how, yeah, it, how it looks cut? And it, you know, it comes together very well. A gooey it's in got there. a little gooey on there. And uh, this is going to be a dish that I scoop up here and, and stick on a plate. And uh, yeah, ooh, look at that nice. And if I were going to do this at a holiday party, I would just take the whole crock pot and then just take it out once you got oh, yeah, there, maybe. That. That All right, good, right, that looks great. Again, this recipe will be on the Mid Morning Facebook page, and we're going to add some more to it. Um, we'll be back with some soups, we promise. Yeah, soups but, are coming back. No yeah, worries. we just felt like we needed to do some dessert today. <laughs> Enjoy mm -hmm. the rest of the day. We'll see okay. you back here tomorrow.